pre-COVID when, you know, we spent a lot of time in professional development centers and staff development labs, you know, you'd hear instructors talk about like, well, why are students struggling with reading? And there's all kinds of speculation out there. Um, you know, some people are like, oh, maybe they're just too busy or they're, they're too distracted, right? We've all lost our attention spans or maybe they're too apathetic, they just don't care. Or maybe they're too unprepared. In California, we had a, a, a bill AB 705 that really dismantled a lot of the support level courses um, that were offered in English and math. And so um, for, for some good reasons, but there was a lot of speculation about, well, you know, maybe just taking away those courses, now, now our students aren't ready for college reading. Of course, there's always the like, is it me? Do I suck as an instructor? Do I assign bad text or whatever? But you know, there, there wasn't really a good way to answer those questions and that speculation that came up. And um, we, we were interested in hypothesis to potentially help us answer some of those questions and, and give us some, you know, some data about why that might be happening. Uh, because hypothesis and social annotation can can make reading visible. You can see if students are doing the reading. You know, you can see how they're interacting with the text and if they just don't get it or if they're um, misinterpreting or whatever it is. 